Nej, 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 sys, nej, sys, sys, nej. Hello, how's it going? Um, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna keep you here in the intro for long because we have seven boxes to unbox. You could say I am a little bit behind. Grab, <laughs> grab a drink, cuddle in somewhere. I feel like this might be a long video. <laughs> I have three book box clubs, two owl crates and two fairy loots. If you're even watching this, hi, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoy it. If you're here for a particular unboxing, I will section the video so you know which one is for which month. I think for Fairy Loot and Owl Grade, I have the January and February boxes, and then for Book Box Lab, it's January, February, and March. I will just take the first one, and then whatever it is, it is. And disclaimer, as per usual, out both Owl Grade and Book Box Club send me their boxes in exchange for an honest review. And I work for Fairy Loot, so I get these um, not for review, I just get them, and I just decide to show you what's inside. So less of a review, more so like, this is it. <laughs> All right, top one. A Fairy Loot one, but which one? Who knows? Maybe January. January's theme was Greek mythology. I do know that I think it's the same book as the Owl Crate one. On the other side of the spoiler card, you can see who designed what and what are the items, but we will consult it if we need to. First item is this uh, wooden spatula with a quote from Lovely War. Um, did you know food is infinitely more scrumptious when you're in love? You guys, if you've seen my unboxings since 2016, literally, know I am a big fan of practical items and I still use the spoon that we had in the other fairy loot box. Next up, a brown envelope with a patch inside. This is... Oh, the artwork is done by KDP Letters, and this one is designed by Alasis World. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is a patch of Medusa. It's like one of those iron-on that you can put on your jacket or jeans or whatever, or a backpack. What do you do with the patches? Where do you put them if you put them anywhere? Next, we have a ceramic trinket tray. Um, this has Eros and Psyche on there, illustrated by Tara... Oh, I love Okay, <laughs> um, has the foil kind of Greek pattern on the edges and the artwork here. Oh, I love it. I love it. Then we have artwork for Percy Jackson and uh, Annabelle, I want to say. And this is illustrated by Ars28. Next, a uh, metal enamel bookmark is stunning. Uh, this is of Athena, so you have her little owl as well, of wisdom and whatnot. Um, a brown tassel and this kind of enamel art. And this is done by Monolimar. Next two tarot, ca tarot cards are from Wrath and Dawn, and that's three and four ones of them, are? Yeah. Three and four ones done by Ars28 as well. And maybe, arguably, I don't actually even know. Definitely the biggest item, but maybe the show of the the star of the box. I don't know. I can never tell. Um, is this book sleeve? This is inspired by Circe. I'm so excited to actually at some point to read that book, as well as Song of Achilles. I've been seeing that book everywhere, and people say how devastated they are after reading it. And I I need I need the emotions. I'm currently reading the fifth season, and the emotions are. And I think I just need to, you know, admit to myself that I like to be miserable in books and then read that. But um, this has a quote on both sides that says, but in a solitary life, there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours as stars once a year brush the earth. And the design is done by wonderful Chatty Nora. Um, it has a zipper at the top and this kind of like waterproof material inside. Um, and it fits pretty much biggest of your books. Um, it'll fit everything. But then we come to the book and the book is in the Fairly pouch that I still stand by and love and use. Uh, we have the bookmark here for the theme art. Um, we have the fairy scoop with some details of exclusivity and the, the author letter and whatnot. We have the art print. Um, this is the character art done by Running Quill Art as well as the author letter on the other side. And then the star of the show for sure is the book. It is called Lore. Um, you have the snoik on the spine that's in gold foil and then you have stenciled edges. 
uh, on this mustard yellow. Um, and then <laughs> these are the end papers, but then wait for it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, but then also <laughs> this. Um, and it's done by Lizard. The book itself, because I am late unboxing these, I already heard some mixed feedback. Some people love it, some people hate it. So who knows? But this is basically... But let me read the synopsis and I'll put it somewhere different so you can skip it if you don't want to hear it. Um, in modern day New York, a murderous game is about to begin. The Agon or Agon. I'm not sure. Every seven years for one week only, Zeus punishes the gods by forcing them to walk the earth as mortals, savagely hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines, all eager to kill a god and seize their divine power and immortality. After her family was brutally murdered by a rival line, Lord Perseus fled. Per Perseus? Lord Perseus, like maybe? Fled. Uh, turning her back on the Aegon's cruel promises of eternal glory. For years, Lore has honored her parents' memory by doing one thing, surviving. For years, she has pushed away dark thoughts of revenge. Until now. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. As the next game dawns, Lore finds Athena gravely wounded on her doorstep. The goddess offers her an alliance against their mutual enemy and a way to leave the Aegon behind forever. But Lore's decision to rejoin the hunt will come at a deadly cost and may not be enough to stop the rise of a new god with the power to destroy all of humanity. And this is also signed by the author. Uh, have you read this? Did you like it? What did you think? I like mythology, but I'm not, I'm definitely not like super obsessed with it or I don't like actively seek out mythology stuff. Um, so it probably also depends. Sound kind of cool. Um, so as per usual, I would like to pick a favorite item, but <laughs> I genuinely have three, like apart from the book, the books are always the main item, obviously, but I really can decide between the trinket dish, the bookmark, as well as the book sleeve. I just, I can't decide. So I won't, because it's my channel and do what I want. <laughs> but that's January's fairy loot. The next month's theme is what future holds, and I'm sure we will see it soon. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be the last unboxing, because I can see. I literally put these boxes in a pile completely randomly, so it's just, you know, a surprise for when we get anything. <laughs> Next up, Book Box Club with the month of February. <laughs> it's honestly like spin the wheel. Sisters of the Coven. Um, this is all of the details on the other side if you want to later check. I have seen online actually that one of the owners has given birth. So congratulations on your healthy baby. I hope everything goes well. Um, you always get a letter with your name and an invitation to a book club meeting where you usually talk to the author as well. Um, and a little card. Um, so thank you, Libby and Kate. This box always wraps your books and because uh, this one has two, I'm pretty sure. Or one very thick one, but I can't kind of feel too and, and this kind of paper so it feels very much like a gift and you can actually even like save it for later <laughs> excuse me that is so pretty it says hubble bubble toil and trouble and it has this beautiful design i'm wondering if this is oh it's designed by elf paper co uh it's really pretty and this is uh like a ring or like a what you call these I want to say ring. It's a binder. <laughs> uh, it's an A5 binder, so you can put your like recipes or whatever, or you can, you know, use it for whatever purposes you want. But uh, I like the design, you know, it appeases me. <laughs> this, which is, they're perforated, so you can pull them out if you want to. But these are like small, like couple tarot cards. Tiny tarot deck. Oh, it really is tiny. One, two, three, four, five, five cards. And then you have their meaning. So this is just for some playfulness if you wanted to. For the first time, I feel wicked. Sapphire frills, little earrings. I don't know if you can see, but they're like green with like little golden bits on them. Witches brew coffee. So you have some coffee. Maybe Logan will drink that. I don't really drink coffee, but maybe, but Logan does. Um, and oh my God, we also have a spoon. Uh, this one has like a little witch's cauldron on the end. So I am just, you know, I am equipped to cook. Will I though? That is the, a different question. <laughs> this one's likely like shorter, but it's still very, very cute. 
And then uh, you have a promo item for their like uh, middle grade box. You have exclusive chapters for Unchosen, uh, as well as your first insert into your journal, I'm assuming, which is a lavender shortbread biscuits recipe. Oh my God, but, but look how cute that is. That is so adorable. I love that. Are you gonna, is the plan to include recipes every month? I don't know if it is. This might be my one of my favorite of theirs because I really love the like item wise. Obviously, we're gonna open the box now. Oh, I actually had one of them like. Well, I've, I've noted it. I don't know if I, I don't think I've gone as far as like put it on my list to buy later, but um, I've noted it because I love the cover. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I am that bitch. This one is all our hidden gifts, which is really like, it looks super cool. Um, and then the other one is we played with fire, which I've not actually heard of. So let me read the synopsis for us. Um, I'll start with this one. So the cards hold the truth, be careful what you ask. Maeve Chambers doesn't have any special gifts, that is until she finds a dusty old pack of tower cards and starts giving uncannily accurate readings to everyone around her. But when she reads for her ex-best friend Lily, a strange card appears in the deck and everything goes wrong. Lily doesn't come to school the next day or the next and Maeve knows she's been taken somewhere the police will never find her. Only the cards and something older, something even more powerful can bring her back. It sounds really young, but at the same time, I really want to read it, so <laughs> I love that. The spirit talking fox sisters await you. How nice it would be to make them doubt themselves for once, make them see that there were more things in the world than they were capable of explaining. Maggie has been accused of a terrible crime, but only her younger sister, Kate, believes her version of events. Now banished to a lonely freezing house in upstate New York, Maggie and Kate are bored and restless. They begin to make mischief in the night to startle their parents, but the house seems to be waking up and whatever haunts it has a message for the sisters. Maggie sees her chance to finally be believed, but not all ghosts want to play fair. Inspired by a true tale of the four fox sisters, the girls who claimed to speak with the spirits of the dead. That is really cool. This is actually like, I think maybe my favorite box of uh, Book Box Club. Uh, obviously it's all depending on your taste and whatnot, so you might be entirely disagreeing with me, but my favorite item is probably the binder. I just really love it. Like, is that not like G's vibe? It is, <laughs> it is, so. And I also really, really like the spoon. And I actually am a big fan of lavender. I don't know if you can eat it. Apparently you can though, but <laughs> and this is really, really cute. Owl crate. Owl crate for February. February's owl crate. Uh, this is the spoiler card. Oh, the theme was magic unleashed. So we're going back to magic again. Uh, that's cool. First thing I see is the lost, Jawa rat? Um, these are bath salts. Here we go. Oh, that smells nice. Chamomile, lemongrass, orange, peel, lavender. That smells really nice. And it looks really nice. So a little, little tub of um, bath salts. It's by Soap Librarian. It's inspired by We Hunt the Flames. Very nice. Okay, next up we have a hairbrush. We have this design on the back, uh, which is pretty nice actually, and uh, just kind of like a your standard hairbrush. Can confirm, brushes hair. <laughs> Designed by Team Owl Crate and inspired by um, Star Daughter. Ooh, a very cool keychain. Okay. So this is designed by uh, Lively Ghost from Daughter and Smoke and Bone, and this is the actual keychain. It's so pretty. I don't know how well you can see that, but. It has like a pretty like gothic design, which I obviously love. Beautiful. I need to continue with that series. I don't know why I stopped. Next, we have a pouch. Light, take risks, follow your heart. Oh, it's from Legendborn. It's a little bit hard to open. Okay, I think I got it stuck. But yeah, just your standard... Okay, I can't really work. Okay. Then we have this pin made by Icy Designs and it has like a moon, a moon and the sun sort of design. Uh, there you go, maybe you can see it better here. Um, they usually are inspired by their book of the month. I really like this pin, I just wish it was like a tiny bit smaller because it's quite a big, big one. Then we have volume one, Red London. So this is a tin um, kind of storage book shaped 
10. <laughs> Put it against like a book. This is like kind of the comparison of the size. The 10. So uh, it says magic and madness, the Maresh monarchy. Uh, blood was magic made manifest there. It thrived on side as Travars on the back. Magic and madness on the side. I like these little lines. Oh, okay, and the book of the month is actually the gilded ones. We I had the, um, like an early copy from our uh, fair loot, but like ages ago last year, but I don't have a hardcover. So here is the book. Um, really beautiful. I liked it then and I like it now, like the design on the, the cover. Um, this is how it looks like underneath. And let's go to the synopsis. <laughs> 16 year old Decca lives in fear and anticipation of the blood ceremony that will determine whether she becomes a memory of a member of her village. Already different from everyone else because of her unnatural in intuition, Decca prays for red blood so she can finally feel like she belongs. But on the day of the ceremony, her blood runs gold, the color of impurity, and Decca knows she will face a consequence worse than death. Then a mysterious woman comes to her with a choice stay in the village and submit to her fate or leave to fight for the emperor in an army of girls just like her they are called a lackey near immortals with rare gifts and they are the only ones who can stop the empire's greatest threat knowing the dangers that lie ahead yet yearning for acceptance Decca decides to leave the only life she's ever known but as she journeys to the capital to train for the biggest battle of her life she discovers that the great wall city holds many surprises nothing and no one are quite what they seem to be not even Decca herself beautiful and we have a letter from the author as well with the cover on the other side as well as our create a little journal thing and the sneak peek for the next one which is of witches and wonder and the sneak peek actually is that it will include an item designed by Talia Skiles um it's a really beautiful design. Oh, and this is how the exclusive cover difference for the from the normal one. I'm assuming it's signed as well. Sorry, I didn't check the other ones. Yeah, it is signed. And these ones had um, signed book plates. Yeah, both of them. So from the items, apart from the book, obviously, I think my favorite is definitely the um, keychain. It's just most to my style. I really like it. And I also really like how the bath salts smell. And book Box Club, again. <laughs> Um, at the masquerade this one's january's box uh, that's the other side if you fancy a look as always the little envelope this one does actually feel like one big book <laughs> oh something smells nice here oh there's a candle party at gadsby's is the candle really glittery glitter everywhere doesn't actually say what the scent is but smells really nice and it's kind of generous size as well candles are expensive okay next thing i think we have a face mask a bookish bookish face mask oh the candle is by bookish burns and the mask i actually can't find it on the list so i don't know if i'm just being silly or not but there's a little mask as well <laughs> then we have a nevernight bookmark of like this thin metal material a oh a pad list i love pad list uh sumptuous supplies plentiful plans um it's really cute it has these feathers um and it's a decent size as well then i think we have a protein bar i'm assuming this is to like take to your bowl so you're all prepared and masquerade <laughs> oh my god a teeny tiny bag <laughs> what are you gonna put in it for i never saw true beauty till last till this night and it's like a it's, it's like a super small little bag it's kind of cute i don't quite know what i would use it for i like my big big bags but <laughs> this is a romeo and juliet party bag and then we come to the book this thing is a weapon oh but that's so beautiful the mask of mirrors look at that cover so pretty it has a blurb from chakraborty and i think it's written by two authors because there are two signatures on here um hmm interesting where's your synopsis my guy it says fortune favors the bold magic favors the liars ren is a con artist who has come to the sparkling city of nadezhra with one goal to trick her way into a noble house securing her fortune and her sister's fortune 
uh, future, sorry. But her masquerade is just one of many, and as corrupt nightmare magic begins to weave its way through the city of dreams, the poisonous feud of its nobility and the shadowy dangers of its impoverished underbelly become tangled with Ren at their heart. I like when they do that. I like when they put the number of the series in here. Thank you. Thank you for making my life easier. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I can't tell from the synopsis if I would enjoy it or not. It's pretty generic. But let me know if you've heard of this and if you've liked it. I think my, like, this might be silly, but I actually think my favorite item is the list pad. I just use them all the bloody time. So I think it's great. And the candle smells amazing. And like, I mean... I can eat it, so. <laughs> Owl crate. <laughs> um, I think this would then be January's box. This one, the post people, I don't think treated very nicely, but I think it's gonna be okay. Um, this is the um, the card for the month and the spoiler is on the back. And so we begin. Oh, what's the theme? From Olympus with love. So we have Riddle's tea shop, Nectar of the Gods. And this is tea, pretty. Oh, this is a very pretty pin. Uh, the eyes of the gods upon you with this, again, Greek um, pattern on the sides. And it's really beautiful. Really pretty. Again, done by IC Designs and presumably inspired by the book. Uh, then this. What are you? I think this is like a little, like a tapestry thing. It's real. I mean, you know me. <laughs> I like moons. <laughs> Um, it's really beautiful. I like that. I actually like that a lot. How it looks like. I hope you can see. I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> it is a lunar cal calendar tapestry. Eden Cook is the designer. Our, uh, the gods on here is Artemis and Athena. Then we have a pin banner. Ooh, pretty. I like the simple black pin banners. Like, I have a couple <laughs> from multiple boxes now. And the black ones are normally my favorite. And the gold stuff is also really cute. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I have this one from Fairly as well with the gold, and then I have this one from Owl Crate with the white edge. So now I'm just gonna add a, a black with the with the gold as well next to it. <laughs> then we have a wooden bookmark. Uh, it actually has foil on it. That's cool. It's double sided. It says there are rare moments when another soul dips near <laughs> yours, <laughs> as stars once a year brush the earth. Such, such a constellation was he to me. So that's the same as the book sleeve. That's quite funny. I would know him in death at the end of the world is on the other side. So this is the bookmark I'm assuming is by Cersei. And it's by In The Reeds. Oh, it's a song in a of Achilles and Cersei. So depending on the side. Um, and then we have this. Um, Hermes letterboard. Oh, right, 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 right. Like letters and... Uh, uh, you know, and numbers and whatnot. And there is a little board here where you can put like something, you know, insert whatever you want. And then you can like either hang it up or put somewhere. I think it's very cute. Am I gonna use it? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I think it's very cute though. Another lore. So we have the author letter here and then the book. I think mine is a bit, my, my, my jacket I think is a bit not quite right because <laughs> I can see like the synopsis starting on here but let me try and fix it oh we have a map on the okay let me gather my thoughts <laughs> um it's wide underneath and then you have Laura on on this side but you have like a map on the end pages which is pretty cool um and then you have the signature on here okay I don't know whatever uh, maybe I'll figure it out later maybe I won't I don't know <laughs> I will maybe I just need to straighten it before Anyway, so I've already I've already read the synopsis of this, um, so I'm not gonna go and do that again. A very different edition, so that's nice. And I actually like this box way more than the other one for me personally. I think my favorite. Um, I actually liked a lot of items over here. I, I really like. I think this side of the bookmark is really pretty. Um, I like the banner. I really like the the moon calendar. That might be my favorite item. Almost there. Two left. Back to book box club. This one's March against the dark. Um, these are the info and fandoms and a letter Another book. This one's hardcover actually. We'll leave that to later, of course Okay, what do we do? Oh, we got a little lamp <laughs> So these are those little lamps that you put on your book to read 
Uh, it looks pretty much like that when you're using it. Always handy, especially if you're wanting to read and someone's sleeping next to you. And then we have for the book thieves, which is maybe inspired by the book thief. I'm thinking possibly lip balm. Yeah, it's a lip balmy texture, mint flavor. Handy, a book end. And it just says just one more chapter. And it's like a wooden one. It's a very, very thick on this side, but like very thin on here, obviously it wouldn't show. So it's not necessarily my style. Obviously book ends are appreciated. Oh, we have a necklace from Oh Panda Eyes. This is so beautiful. I really like it. This is something I will actually wear. Uh, so the one more chapter bookend is by Hannah Locke. Leaves of Lorian necklace. So that's the fandom for that. And for the Book Thieves lip balm is by Mad About Nature. And, oh, we have a little Stranger Things notebook. Uh, you obviously have the upside down world as well. And then it has blank pages. It's your standard kind of A5 notebook. If stories open the doors to the worlds, then books hold the keys. Oh, it's not. Oh, it could be a print actually, but I think it's actually, it's a, it's a promo thing, but it could very well be a print. Number six, the studio. My favorite item item is actually the necklace. I think it's very sweet, it's very beautiful, and it suits my style. <laughs> and also the lamp could come in handy. Oh, the shadow war. This looks more, this looks a bit less YA. This looks like a historical fantasy maybe. In Nazi Germany, darkness takes root, a secret war begins. Oh, the sound of opening the book. Can't see a tip or anything, so I think my, maybe this one is unsigned. Um, that's how it looks like underneath. And this is the synopsis. World War II is raging and five teens are looking to make a mark. Daniel and Rebecca seek revenge against the Nazi Nazis who slaughter their family. Simone, Simone is determined to fight back against the oppressors who ruined her life and corrupted her girlfriend. Philip aims to prove that he's better than his worst mistakes. And Liam is searching for a way to control the portal to the shadow world he's uncovered and the monsters that live within him, within it, <laughs> before the Nazi regime can do the same. When the five meet and begrudgingly team up in the forest of Germany, none of them know what their future might hold. The race against time war and enemies from both the world and another. Uh, Liam, Daniel, Rebecca, Philip and Simone know that they, all they can count on is their own determination and will to survive. With their world turned upside down and the shadow realm looming omin ominously large um, and threateningly close, the course of history and the very fate of humanity rest in their hands. Still, the most important question remains, will they be able to save it? In this dark and thrilling tale of power, shadow and revenge, some prices must be paid in blood so it seems like a pretty dark i feel like it's always like tricky choosing like nazi germany so it's and in... so i'm interested in seeing how this was actually done um i don't know if this is something i would naturally gravitate towards but let me know if you've read this and what you thought of it okay you made it to the last box <laughs> this is fairy loot so this will be the february's fairy loot Okay, so this is the theme art and the theme is what the future holds. So it's a little bit sci-fi-ish and sci-fi oriented. The tarot cards, these are for Spin the Dawn. Yeah, <laughs> Spin the Dawn. Um, very beautiful, done by Ars28. A little envelope with a pen. This is for Vicious, so for Schwab fans. Um, it says, one of my favorite quotes from there actually, and I really, really love this pen, this is by Jess Hawk. It says, plenty of humans were monstrous and plenty of monsters knew how to play at being a human. I just feel like this sums up everything. <laughs> as well as a candle. This is Eco, which is from Lunar Chronicles, and it's by Flick the Wick. And it's in this nice blue color. Oh, it smells so good. Cranberry, peach, citrus, vanilla. Oh, so good. Might be burning a little bit of that today. Light some dark evenings is moon fairy lights. So, mm, me. <laughs> that's how the actual fairy lights look like. They're battery operated. Uh, you might remember getting the cutlery and uh, I want to say 2018 box. And uh, there's another set, um, maybe your second, maybe your first. And this one actually has the character from Warcross by Verica Art. Comes in like a little velvety pack. But this time, instead of rainbow, it is gold. I actually really love it. Um, I have some golden colored cutlery already. And uh, that's literally the one that I always tried to grab. 
<laughs> it just makes eating more pleasurable for me. But um, you have the spoon, fork, and the the knife, and you have and you have stuff engraved at the handles as well. I really don't know if I'll be able to show you. Kinda. I can read it out. You just trust me. <laughs> fork says think badass thoughts. The spoon says every locked door has a key, and the knife says everything science fiction until someone makes it science fact. So those are the quotes from. Next, there is a pillow of a red rising. Well, a pillowcase for red rising. We have. Uh, the three main characters, we have um, Darrow, Mustang, and Severo. <laughs> um, these are done by Lizard, and the artwork or the design around it, and the other side is done by Chatty Nora, and it says, per Aspera at Astra, um, through hardship to the stars. Oh, was my foot on my spare glasses all this time? Uh oh <laughs> We have the pouchy. We have the author letter with Burke art art <laughs> of the character. We have this fairy scoop. This is the book. <laughs> it's called This Golden Flame um, and has these kind of burgundy reddish colored edges. Um, we have it signed and uh, wait for this. Look at this foil design at the front. Maybe this is my favorite dust jacket. I don't know this. You know? <laughs> And there is, of course, the little matching uh, bookmark. Okay, let me read the synopsis. Uh, orphan and forced to serve her country's ruling group of scribes, Karis wants nothing more than to find her brother long ago shipped away. But family bonds don't matter to this scriptorium, whose sole focus is unlocking the magic of an ancient uh, aut automaton army. In her search for her brother, Karis does seemingly impossible. She awakens a hidden automaton, intelligent with a consciousness of his own. Alex has no idea why he was made, or why his father, their nation's greatest traitor, once tried to destroy the automatons. Suddenly, the scriptorium isn't just trying to control Karis, it's hunting her. Together with Alex, Karis must find her brother and the secret that's held for her century country in its power for centuries. And that's it. You've actually made it. Shall we do the emoji game again? We shall. <laughs> leave, an, leave a moon if you actually made it that far. I really feel like probably a lot of people have not. So if you have... You're, you're, you're amazing. Thank you. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was fun. What, let me know if any of these books sparked any interest and if you already maybe read them and what you thought. I'm not gonna make this any longer than it already is, so I'm just gonna say goodbye. Hope you're well. Stay awesome and well, most of all, stay kind and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hold my hello